<laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to the October 2019 full moon mini masterclass and forecast. My name is Sarah and I'm coming to you live from sunny New Mexico in the United States. This is call number 11 for this year. A lot is going on already, isn't it? Since October started, there has been a lot of intense cosmic energies, haven't there? And perhaps you've been feeling this in your own life too. I know a lot of my clients are reporting feeling kind of an unease and a tension in their solar plex area and also kind of a feeling of not quite foreboding, but something is definitely changing. And I think the, the astrology this month will kind of explain that and maybe put your mind to ease. And just as we all know, cosmic events do impact life here on Earth. It's still our responsibility how we handle this and what we decide to do with this information. So this should not be considered medical, legal, or financial advice. October the 13th, the full moon will be in Aries. This particular moon is called the Hunter's Moon. Now, if you haven't already, please be sure and download the PDF that has the calendar and helpful stones on it. And you might want to look over that now to kind of get an idea of what's going on. On the one hand, there isn't as many alignments right now or celestial events as we've seen in the past, but those events are having a very powerful impact. And of course, we have the last Mercury retrograde for 2019 about to happen. We're in the pre-shadow of it already. I have created, I believe, 13 videos. <laughs> That's a lot when you say it out loud. Yeah, 13 videos on the Mercury retrograde. One overview and then one per sign to kind of give you an idea. This one is a lot different. Yes, we're still going to have communication problems, tech problems, people canceling on the last minute, that kind of stuff, of course, because that's standard with any Mercury retrograde. But each sign is being affected a little bit differently. So definitely you want to look at your sign and also your family or co-workers or your friends to kind of get an idea of what lessons they will be facing. And that will help this transition so much. And I'm going to go into much more detail about that. But if you haven't already, be sure and, and, and watch those videos. Okay, this moon is in fiery Aries. And the good news is you will feel much more self-confident and be ready to take on some of those bigger projects maybe that you've put off that were too daunting and maybe address some of the other problems in your life. The bad news is it's going to make you a lot more impulsive and you're more likely to take on those bigger responsibilities thinking you can breeze through them this weekend when in reality you can't. You're also more likely to be more direct than diplomatic. So in dealing with people, you kind of really need to filter, okay? <laughs> you're ready to go, you're ready to see, you're ready to conquer. And then th that's not horrible either. It's just the downside is you may be so totally focused on your own feelings and your own agenda that you forget to check in with the people around you. So remember that you're not the only one going through this and your actions do impact everyone around you. So before you put those huge plans into motion, be sure and check in. Check in with your family. Maybe get some feedback and see if you are being too intense or too reckless. We win when we balance this Aries fire energy with inspired action instead of just jumping out there recklessly and acting without thinking. This moon may trigger a personal or a relationship crisis, but also it's an opportunity to grow, transform, and find that elusive happiness. And I'm I'm going to talk more about that in just a minute. We are currently in the Mercury retrograde pre-shadow and this makes it a really good time to work on some of those deeper hidden issues that are probably starting to come up anyway. This will give us the clarity that we need because Mercury is pushing them forward. This is a really good time to work on buried issues that maybe maybe you think you've dealt with, maybe you know you haven't dealt with. They're, they're going to come up and being that you have this heads up, you have this warning, you can perhaps navigate this a little bit easier and realize too that they're not just coming up for you, they're coming up for your spouse, for your partner, for your co-workers, for the people in school. So they may be acting a little odd and they may be having meltdowns. So now you know why. So you can 
have more compassion both for them and for yourself. Take it easy during a retrograde, always. Really, it's the best time to do self-care. It's the best time to really work on you. And it is key to stay grounded during this type of energy, not just with the Mercury retrograde happening, but also with Pluto in motion. Stay grounded and also keep a sense of humor.